Hi there. I'm going to cook up a turkey a little early this year. We are going to be um, not with my husband's side of the family for Thanksgiving. So I thought I would just make a turkey early, turkey dinner early for them so we can at least enjoy um, some nice turkey together. This is my small turkey, average size, about 15 pounds. This year, our average size turkey is 17 pounds. So what I'm gonna go around is I'm, I'm gonna look to see if there are any feathers that I have to pluck off of the skin. Uh, most of the time, there may be one or two. And I really don't see any. There's one right here. That was just hanging out. That wasn't even attached. So they do a nice job. They wrap the legs here with the skin so it stays in the nice shape that you want for your presentation. Um, they put the giblets inside of the turkey right here. I'm going to cook the giblets up and add that to the stuffing that I'm going to stuff the bird with. The giblets are heart, gizzard, and liver. Really nice when you um, cook it low and slow. It tenderizes the giblets. It's uh, full of nutrients for you. And I just cut it up. I'm going to cut it up and put it in the stuffing to give the stuffing a little more flavor. So the giblets were in here, the gizzard, heart, and um, liver. Um, in here is where you'll find your turkey neck. And this has a lot of great meat on it. So you want to cook that up with your um, giblets too. So I have the giblets cooking and uh, I just poured some water over them, covered them, seasoned the water. Uh, you can use broth too if you have some broth. Um, and then I'll let that cook low and slow for probably 45 minutes. Now I'm gonna chop up the vegetables that I'm gonna go, that's gonna go into the stuffing, which is just celery and onion. After they're chopped up, I'll put them in a pan with some um, butter and soften them up. A little trick that my mom does when she prepares her bird, she'll cut up cold butter and then stuff it under the skin to keep everything nice and moist during cooking. And the coldness of the butter helps it so you're not, you know, you don't have too much of a mess going on. You stuff it under there. I did it on both sides. Um, giblets have cooked for a little while. This is the liver, and it should just cut real nicely for you. I'm using the scissors, but a real um, tender cut. So we're stuffing the bird now. Huck's helping me here. He's scooping it into the bird. To make the stuffing, we sauteed the celery, onions, and then <clears throat> added the breadcrumbs, added the cooked giblets, and the broth from the giblets to soften the stuffing up. <clears throat> then you just fill your bird up. You release the legs here, and then you'll put them back when you're done stuffing it so it keeps its shape. When you cook a stuffed bird, add a little extra time to your cook time. Good rule of thumb is like 15 minutes per pound. 
um, or add a half an hour, 45 minutes if you stuff your bird. This is a 15 pound. We're gonna cook it for about four hours, 325. If you have extra stuffing that is too much for the inside of your bird, just put it in a little casserole dish, add a little broth to it, and put it in your oven. There we go. The bird is stuffed and ready to put into the oven. Since I want to use my oven for casseroles and such today, I am going to use this uh, roaster oven for the turkey. Our bird is now done. Looks beautiful, the stuffing looks good. It is done a little early, so I'm going to wrap it and I'll wrap it with some foil and then wrap it with a clean towel and then drop it into a cooler. And this is a great way to keep it at its current temperature without it rising or losing heat. 